Hello everyone, in this episode here today, um, I'm going to try something um, that I've seen on TV a lot of times, um, and I figured a lot of the stuff we have in the garage, and uh, let's see if I can do this, but I'm going to try to see if I can uh, get this to, it's a piece of steel wool, I want it to light up like, uh, and uh, supposedly you can make fire from this or something, so I got several batteries here um, here I get a an HEB generic D size battery A size or double A size these are 1. Uh, 1.5 volts this is a 9 volt uh, battery here and um, I have somewhere else an actual car battery and so, which is a 12 volt. And so, I want to see if uh, if this will light up. Here's a whole bunch of uh, steel wool right here. So the idea is to take steel wool, and it heats up, and you can you can make fire. Um, and unfortunately, it's it's a little cloudy. Uh, kind of looks like it's going to rain. It's been raining out here. Uh, another thing I was going to do was I have this here, which. Uh, um, I got in a garage sale, but it's magnifying glass, and I want to know if I can uh, either heat this up or a piece of other material that I can maybe start a fire. Yeah, that's if it's good. Can I get sunny here? But so uh, let's go ahead and try this. Uh, I'll go try with the smallest one first, and I had a small bundle, but I don't know if you can see that. So. I'm going to try to use this big bundle, see if it works on a big bundle. I got my gloves on just in case it really starts sparking, but let's see. It feels warm at the ends. I can feel the heat. I can feel heat, but not enough to to the point where it's lighting up. I'm going to take a small little edge, maybe a small piece. So nothing's happening here. Okay. Let's try this big one and see if that does anything to light it up. It's a little too thick. Get a little smaller piece right here. Okay, it's not going to work here. So, all right, uh, last last one is this nine volt, which has uh, this little wrapper around it. So, keep it fresh, I guess. Let's see what I use. Cut it. Some of you who's watching, uh, and you've seen uh, my videos before, you know you can skip through if this is getting too boring. Um, let's see here. This is a nine volt. Let's see if it does anything. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's catching. It's burning. Whew. Oh, this whole thing is going. I, gotta, I should probably stomp it out. There you go. With the nine volt, you can get uh, you can get a really good spark. Wow, this thing's really going. So, there you have it. 9 volt. Get yourself a 9 volt steel wool. Let's see if it, uh, you know, I don't know if you'll have a whole bunch like I did, but maybe the small little, small piece like this and see if it, see if it would go. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. It's 
falling on the floor. Sorry. There it is. So yeah, it gets hot. You can you can definitely uh, get a fire going with this idea. Let's see, there's still some there. Doesn't work this as good as the second time. Seems like. So you only got one go at it once it starts burning. But uh, yeah. All right, so this works. Uh, I always thought these batteries were pretty annoying because you know use them on uh, your, your smoke detectors and um, all these other detectors and everything but uh, they come in handy so this is something you'll definitely have in your garage or in your house that you could use and steel wool um, if you have a garage and you do any work as far as finishing or whatever it may be steel wool is all around good buffing material as well um, very common to have these as well I, ha I have some left over from a project so something you could have around the house as well so there you go for that um, last one I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut out here but I'm gonna cut in real quick make this all one episode but uh, I have a, a battery let's see if it works for that alright so let me cut out and um, move myself around alright I'm cutting back in and uh, there you go you see the uh, battery um, it did die out, and that's why I replaced it with another one, so it's eventually going to die out, but it still has enough juice to uh, see if we can have fun with this. Uh, here's the steel wool. You see some of it's kind of burnt. I'm going to take some of the more non-burnt material. When this thing goes, it, it, when you got a bunch like this, it really started heating up. It's going on its own for a while. but So I got you know something like this, and uh, the way I got it, set up here is um, it's just a you know cigarette lighter input thing as you can see and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in here and we'll see if we get a nice spark going so uh, I that may be too big small little bit just to see it going I'm pretty sure this is going to work so um, other than that, I mean, you would have to, you basically connect the, uh, connect this material on both sides. Like you would get long enough to do this. And, uh, both sides and just, psh, but, so I got a cigarette lighter here, it does the same thing. It's just trying to show you in a, in a neat way. Let me see here. I'm sure you can see that. All right, ready? It's going, but now I burn myself. Ooh. Wow, it does go. You can't see it, but here it is. And there, burn right through when I poked at it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it is hurting. So. Watch yourself now. It, so it works on car batteries too. So, but it seems like the nine volts much easier to work with. You don't have to. This thing weighs a lot. Um, you have to have the wires or use all your steel wool to make sure it gets a connection. And you could burn yourself too. So stay safe, everyone. So that concludes this episode. Unless. Unless it starts getting really sunny, I'm not sure if I can do, use the magnifying glass, but that could be safe for another episode. Till then, um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like, dislike, comment, uh, even do a video response. Uh, also, feel free to uh, you know uh, look at my other stuff, other videos. So thanks a lot. Until next time, uh, stay tuned.